Hiya, this is a video response to Carl123 Foxes. Um, he left a comment on one of my videos about my book books and wanted me to do a book recommendation, a uh, book review on to ride a silver broomstick. So I'm going to try and do that as best as I can um, because I still haven't finished reading it yet. Um, in every chapter there are several exercises that you can do. Let me just find one. Okay, so in this one it says it's at the back of the chapter, so if I go to the back of the chapter I should have it marked out. Right here on this page, um, this is just an example of one of you. Get out your notebook now and set aside three pages. On the first page, write science. On the second, write religion. And on the third, write religion versus science. On each page, write a short paragraph on your feelings on the subject. Be sure to sign and date each, each entry. Put them back in your book and reread them next month, then two months hence. Check to see if your own opinions have changed or grown. Be sure to make a journal entry while you are rereading the pages. So, you know, that may not seem understandable to you or whatever, but if you read the book, it, you do understand it. It's plain English, really. Um, another one you have to do is where you write out all the jargon and stuff. Um, I can't really review the book just yet because I haven't finished reading it, but I will say it's must buy and if you want a book um, because you're a new practicing Wiccan like myself if you want a book easy to understand I, I would recommend this book um, it depends whether you learn easier from a woman's point of view or a man's point of view um, if it's a man's probably the Scott Cunningham Wicker book which is under my desk here but um you know at the end of the day one of the things i've learned is what you read you know is your opinion and there's no right and wrong it's who you feel you are attached to you can get on with you can learn from but as far as doing that the um exercises in silver broomsticks i'm putting them in my book of shadows um they will be probably typed up at a later date but I'm just handwriting them all at the moment so I'll just show you what I'm doing because this isn't you know that isn't pers nothing personal at all um, so basically on one of my dividers for my folder <laughs> I um, attached a picture of the book cover which I got off of Google after much searching because there wasn't a big enough one um, and then she, she likes you to sign and date your stuff as well because one year and a day hence of when you started you meant to go back and reread all of your notes and see how your views have changed and what you've learned and stuff so this was oh, this was lesson one and it's like all signed and dated and stuff um, and it's like you, your definition of the word which what you think it means what you think the religion means what you your views on the society are how society is today compared to before you know like in Salem or whatever um, and then lesson two is on the back which was a sh one, shorter one for me anyway um, um, oh, this was just she, in in the book. She puts a list of. Let me quickly find it. She puts a list of things. I can't remember what she called it now. My head. Oh, here. I think this is it. The principles of belief. And there's a list of 13 things and then an exercise, whoops, an exercise at the end of it. 
so that was and she asked you to write the ones down that you don't understand and then go back later on after you've read some more of the book and see if you understand them and if you do to tick them off um, but as I only just did this the other day then I haven't got any further with it yet but that was that one there was only three things I didn't understand out of 13 so I thought that was pretty good going um, then lesson three um, it's sort of how you came to be interested in the craft um, what you think you'll gain from it what you feel you need from it what you, you fear you might lose from studying the craft and that so that was that one and then the next bit I've done which I didn't really class as an exercise because it's like three lines long and you have to write a statement of purpose um, which is basically just a promise to say that in one year and a day you will go back and read what you've wrote. Um, last night, so that's all I've done at the moment. Last night I started doing the next, the next bit, which was it's this tallest bookmark here. Um, all of the different types of witches. Now it says um, that you don't have to write them all out, it just says write some out. Um, take out your notebook now and copy down the names of various types of witches along with a brief version of the definitions given. Leave some space after each definition so that when you learn more about a different type you can add it to your notes. So basically what I was doing last night, I started writing, I'm doing them all because, you know, in my opinion, the more I know the better. So I've got up to Eclectic Witch, which is, which is here. I've got up to there. Um, I was just doing it on my little netbook thing in bed, so. But if you want me to do another review at a later date, please leave me a comment and I will do because you know I'm one of these people that looks on YouTube for these kind of reviews and that's to help me learn so thank you for your comment anyway um, car one two three foxes um, very much appreciated and I hope that's of some help to you I hope so <laughs> if not leave me a comment I don't mind <laughs> um, and I'll try and you know do something else with it but blessed be hope it was okay bye